So welcome back aliens, I'm Davin Reddy from Tariska Learnings and yesterday I made a video on Kotlin which got lots of views, I'm very happy for that <laughs> and everything was good, the only thing is I got lots of comments, some of the comments were based on you know they want me to make a, a videos on Kotlin because I mentioned that in the video itself and there were some comments which indirectly means that is Java dead, so those questions were is Java dead, is Kotlin is the future so you know and in fact on Facebook also I got the same messages so the thing is uh, they are taking the things in very different way in fact lots of people that are taking things in a different way the thing is Kotlin is not replacing Java okay it's because in fact before also even before the announcement of Kotlin is an official language even before that Kotlin was used to make Android application it's just that it was a secondary language or you can say Android Studio used to support Kotlin so initially you could have made application, you can make na native applications for Android using Java which was the primary language, which was the first class language for, uh, for Android initially. Uh, then we, we were having two more languages, one is C++ and Kotlin. So you can use any of this language to make uh, Android application before. But now what they thought, you know, there were lots of programmers, they, they, they were saying that, you know, we should make uh, Kotlin as the official language so that it will support Android much better. It's not that they want to replace Java, it's just that they also want to support Kotlin. So now we have two primary languages for, Java, for Android, one is Java and Kotlin, okay? So they are not competitors here, they, they, you can use Kotlin or you can use Java to make Android applications. But then given a choice, let's say if you in future, if you, are, uh, if you want to make applications, will you, will you use Kotlin or will you use Java? The thing is, you can use any of this, you can use Java or we can use Kotlin, but then let's say if as a programmer, if I know both, if I know Kotlin, if I know Java, and if I want to choose one, of course I will go for Kotlin for multiple reasons, okay, let me just list down, list down those reasons now. The first one is, Kotlin is a cleaned up a Java code, what it means? Uh, if you if you if you write a Java code, you know we have to write lots of boilerplate codes. In fact, I was not a big fan of boilerplate code before. I'm a big fan of Java, by the way. I, I love Java. In fact, uh, given a choice, I would make a tattoo of Java on my hand. But then, you know, the only thing is Java do have some boilerplate codes in it. Example: Let's say if when I teach Java for the first time to some of the some of the people, uh, you know, I have to teach in this way. Pub okay, we have to get a class. Why? We'll talk about this later. We have to mention public. Why? We'll talk about this later. We'll mention static. We'll talk about that later. Your main method accepts string arguments. Uh, what is that? We'll talk about that later. But the thing we want to do here is we want to print hello world. I mean, just imagine just to do that, I have to explain all these things. I have to skip all the things. So those are th those things are called as boilerplate code. Right. In fact, in Java, we don't have to write those code. Uh, if you are using Eclipse, if you are using IntelliJ, everything goes good. You know, you just have to you just have to create a file and it will give you those codes. But still, the code is there, right? So that is called as boilerplate code. What Kotlin says, hey, don't worry, you don't have to write boilerplate codes now, right? So it is more clear language compared to Java. Then you will be thinking Python is better, right? Because Python will also do the same thing. We don't have to write boilerplate code there. But then the thing is. Everyone loves Java because it works on JVM and Python doesn't, doesn't work on JVM, right? And that's why uh, maybe people are not preferring Python for uh, that replaces Java, right? Now, the advantage with Kotlin is Kotlin works on JVM, the second point. The first point is uh, Kotlin is more clear language. Second, Kotlin works on JVM, right? So when you write a Java code and Java code get converted into a byte code in the same way, when you write a Kotlin code, that gets converted into a uh, into a byte code. So ultimately, what you're getting is a Java code, right? So, so even if you're working with Kotlin, you're getting a Java byte code after that, and that byte code works on JVM, right? So uh, Kotlin is clear to work with. Uh, it is it works on JVM. It's the second, th the third thing is, Kotlin is made by JetBrains. Now, what is JetBrains? It's a company who actually made. Uh, IntelliJ IDE, one of the best IDE in the market when it comes to Java. So we have Eclipse, we have NetBeans, right? But IntelliJ is one of the best IDE available. Second, uh, Intel, uh, they, this company, JetBeans, also created one more. I mean, if you if you have ever used Android Studio before, Android Studio is based on IntelliJ, right? So that means JetBrains has supported Android Studio. So somewhere Google is linked with JetBrains for Android Studio. So uh, these people, they recommended, why don't we make Kotlin as the official language? Because if you can do that, the advantage would be, uh, we will be having JetBrains who will be supporting Kotlin, which will be helping developers. And ultimately see, 
uh, we don't have to stick with one language, right? We are living in a world where things will change, of course, right? You cannot say we will only use Java. So someday the things will change. So if you, so if JetBrains support, uh, if, if JetBrains support uh, Kotlin now, so of course Kotlin will be having more features, more features in future, right? Maybe it will, it will surpass uh, Java at the end, but then Java, it's not the end for Java. It takes lots of time, you know, it takes maybe 10 years, eight years to get a technology established in the market. When it comes to Scala, Scala also works on JVM, right? We have Groovy, which works on JVM. Uh, we have one more language was there. So all these languages, they work on JVM and they are there from last 10, 12, 15 years, right? But still they are not able to replace Java. So again, Java is not replaceable because there are lots of technologies which are built on Java. Think about websites, think about uh, Hadoop framework, think about mobile devices now. In fact, Android itself, what do you think? There are billions of apps on Play Store. Would you think that all these apps will be replaced by Kotlin? Not possible, right? So Java will be there. It's just that if you are a new developer, instead of learning Java, you can learn Kotlin and you can make applications, right? But then what to learn now? Given a choice, okay, let's say if you want to learn Java or if you want to learn Kotlin, I would suggest learn both. Why you are focusing on one thing? Why don't you learn both? It's not, it's not that difficult, right? First learn Java and if you know Java, learning Kotlin is very, very easy. In fact, uh, if, if I want to learn Kotlin now, it would take me two or three days because I know Java. So if you know Java, learning Kotlin is very easy because the entire language Kotlin is derived from Java. Again, adding some features in that, right? So uh, again, if you if you just if you know that okay now what to learn? Let's talk about that. So if you if you given a choice, you learn both. But then let's say if you want to choose one. So first of all, you have to define what you want to do in your career. So let's say if you want to be into Android development, uh, you can directly start with Kotlin. There is nothing wrong with that because you can make Android application using Kotlin now, and which is much easier to learn instead of learning the entire Java framework. What if I say uh, when you work with Kotlin programming or when you when you work with Kotlin, you have to use Java libraries. Uh, so ultimately you are using Java there, right? <clears throat> Next thing is uh, if you write a Java code, if you write a Kotlin code, you can call a Java code from Kotlin code and you can call Kotlin code using Java code. So they are interoperable, right? So they are not a competitors anymore. They are, they, what do you say? It's a, it's a complete package now. So yeah. So let's say, but, but let's say if you don't want to go into Android development, if you want to go for maybe in, in future, if you want to go for Hadoop, if you want to go for uh, maybe website development, uh, if you want to go for enterprise application, of course, everywhere we still use Java. It will take Kotlin a lo lo long time to replace all these things, right? So yes, so I would suggest you to learn Java first, then go for Kotlin. If you know that you are going for Android for sure, go for Kotlin. So don't worry, Java is there and it will be, it will be there for a long time. So that's what I wanted to convey. In fact, uh, the Kotlin tutorials are on the way. So I'm, I'll be starting making those in maybe next week. So those videos are coming on the way. And if you have some suggestions, let me know uh, if you have some feedback, anything of that sense. So that's it. Do share these videos with your friends. Let them know about Kotlin. And that's it. Thanks for watching. And this is Clive.